Hi there. Welcome to January the 1st, 2024. We finally know which electric vehicles will be eligible for the federal uh, tax credit for plug-in electric and electric vehicles. Um, some of them will be eligible for the full $7,500 and some will be only eligible for half of that. And so we just learned today which vehicles will, you know, will be available, uh, will be eligible for those uh, credits. And the list is kind of small. Um, you know, we have over, well over two dozen new electric vehicles coming onto the market this year. And we still have a bunch that have been available, you know, from the, for the last few years. And very few of these will be eligible for the $7,500 tax credit, which is really a shame. Thank Joe Manchin for that. Uh, whatever, you can look that up. I won't we'll get too political in this, this video. Uh, yeah, but let's just go through and see what we have. What, what can you buy and get that full $7,500 uh, tax credit on and you know really reduce your, your purchasing price? So, because this year, actually, you, it's a... Uh, what we call it, maybe a refundable tax credit. So you can get that full tax credit right when you buy the car. And you, so you don't have to wait until the next, end of the next year when you do your taxes to get that money. So drum roll, please, for the first one. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, yeah, the first first couple actually are cars that they stopped making just before you know this year, like a few weeks ago. Uh, there's still lots on the lot, lots on the lot, lots in the sales lot at, at dealerships. So you can still take advantage of this uh, tax credit for these. And if you're interested in them, I would suggest you hurry because they're probably not going to last too long. They're a great bargain. Uh, even without the tax credit, they're they're a pretty decent deal. And so we're talking, about, of course, about the Chevrolet Bolt EV and Bolt EUV. The uh, Bolt EUV is just slightly longer. Then the Bolt EV and has a like slightly slightly different styling on the front and back, but basically they're very much the same car. Uh, they're I think they're about 250 plus miles or so for, for range. Uh, the EUV is a bit shorter range than the EV, of course, uh, being larger. Uh, they're great cars. The only fallback with these is their charging speeds. DC charging speed is only like 50 kilowatts, but and Chevrolet will be making a new version of this, but it's going to be probably a couple of years before we see that uh, with the Altium, with an Altium LFP battery, actually. But anyway, we'll talk about that in the future sometime. Let's just keep going down our list. So another vehicle, this is the plug-in electric hybrid. Um, this is the uh, Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid EV. So from 2024, 2022 to 2024 models, new will be eligible for the full $7,500 rebate, uh, same as the uh, Chevy Bolt and EV and EUV. Um, what else? We have the Ford Escape plug-in hybrid from 2022 to 2024. Find one new on the lot, and that will also be worth, oh, that will only be worth $3,750, which is still... You know, take whatever discounts you can get, right? So that's not uh, that will make a pretty decent deal. Um, let's see, we also have the Ford F one hundred and fifty Lightning extended range battery. That's a good vehicle. Twenty twenty two to twenty twenty four, full seventy five hundred dollar credit. Yes, that will make the uh, the Ford Lightning kind of difficult value to really beat, really in the electric pickup market. I mean, there's not a whole lot of choices out there right now. Uh, but there will be before the end of the year. There's going to be another, you know, the Chevrolet Silverado's come in and the GMC Sierra, Sierra basically uh, two versions of the same truck, really. But uh, they, you know, I, they're not on this list, so they will not have a tax credit. So, yeah, the Ford is the only one that I know. Rivian doesn't get the tax, does it? Oh, actually, let me, we'll get to Rivian in a moment, actually, I guess. Um, yeah. But the other one, the Cybertruck. Uh, does the Cybertruck get this? I don't know. I don't see it on the list here. But anyway, let's go on. Also available for this $7,500 tax credit is the Ford F-150 Lightning standard range battery. So it's a slightly smaller battery, same great truck. Um, moving along again, the Jeep Cherokee, a plug-in hybrid 4 by e from the 2022 to 2024 models, all of those are covered, but for $3,750 uh, tax credit, you can get that back. Also, the Jeep Wrangler, a plug-in EV, plug-in 
<laughs> plug-in hybrid EV from 20, 2022 model years to 2024. Again, $3,750 is what you're going to get back off that uh, big MS, whatever you pay at the dealer, you're going to get that much off of it. Um, okay, moving along to another brand we don't hear much of about is the Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring. That's a plug-in hybrid. And the model years 22 to 24 are also eligible for these 30 for $3,750. And what else we have? Okay, I mentioned Rivian earlier. Rivian does have some vehicles that will be eligible for the tax credit, um, but not the whole thing, only half of it. $3,750. Uh, R1S dual large from a model years 23 to 24. So that's the uh, Rivian. SUV basically with the dual motors and the large battery. That's so yeah, the, the Rivian comes with uh, I think three batteries, but anyway, the large battery is eligible for $3,750 uh, tax credit. The R1S quad large, so that means the R1S SUV again, but the quad motors that's one motor per wheel. That's the original, that's the OG R1S and uh. Yeah, the large battery is also available, eligible for the $3,750 tax credit. Uh, the R1T dual large, so that is the um, pickup truck with dual motors and the large battery pack, 2023 to 2024, eligible for $3,750 tax credit. The R1T dual max, so that is the R1T, that's the Rivian pickup truck um, with dual motors, but the max battery, so that's the biggest battery they make now at Rivian, it just came out recently. Uh, it's available for order, and that is also eligible for the $3,750 tax credit. And finally, the R1T quad large. Uh, so that's the R1T pickup truck with the uh, four motors, that's one motor per wheel, and the large battery pack. I don't believe the the quad motor doesn't come with a max pack, but if you get the large, it comes with the $3,750 worth of tax credit. So that's good. All right. So finally, I mean, there's only one other manufacturer on here and not even all of the cars are, are on this list. And you, if you're familiar with EVs at all, you probably know what, who I'm talking about, of course. And that's the, uh, that's Tesla. So which Teslas are available? or el available, eligible. I keep doing that, what's wrong with me? Um, so the Tesla Model 3 Performance is eligible for $7,500 off the price, uh, 2023 to 2024 model years. That's kind of interesting. Uh, right, it has to, see these cars have to have a, uh, an MS, MSRP of 55,000 or lower. So you, you can get on the EPA website and check your VIN number if you're not sure if it's eligible. But uh, yeah, $7,500 is going to make an interesting sort of, so this is the only Model 3 that's on this list. So if you were thinking about getting like a Model 3 long range, you might as well get the performance unless you really want the, because well, the performance has a little bit less range than the long range does, I think. Um, off, at least off the top of my head, I believe that's the case. And and a lot more performance, of course. It's pretty quick. It's like through zero to 63.2 seconds, maybe. It's 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 a blast if you like that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so why get the long range when the performance is right there for that price? You're getting that tax credit. It might even be cheaper. I'm not sure. I need to look. I should probably looked at that before I made start making this video, but it is what it is maybe I'll, I'll add that information back here after actually so you can check that out uh all right so what else is available from tesla with this tax credit the model x long range it's 23 to 24 model years available eligible for the full 7500 dollars tax credit and as long as those are eighty thousand dollars and less the model y i will drive 23 24 model years also eligible for the $7,500 tax credit. Um, yep, that's great. And the, also the Model Y performance, model years 23 to 24, well, uh, eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit. And finally, the Tesla Model Y, 
rear wheel drive 2024 is eligible for the $7,500 uh, tax credit. And that's basically it. There's, you know, there's nothing much else on, there's nothing else on this list. I believe earlier up the page, I do say something about there may be uh, some other eligible, okay, here's the note. Some qualified manufacturers have yet to submit information on eligible vehicles that meet the current requirements please check back for updated information. So there is a possibility that there are some other vehicles that will be el will become eligible for this tax credit. But first they need to, you know, submit their paperwork to the government, you know, just to get that whole ball rolling. And, you know, and before that happens, you know, you can't get the uh, tax credit on them. So that's kind of a shame. I'm not sure which brands that are, that is, but uh, man. Anyway, so I guess that's going to wrap that up for now. I just wanted to uh, put that out there if you're curious what is eligible. And if I'm missing something, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at this from the EPA website. So if there's something out there that you think is also eligible that I didn't mention, please feel free to mention it down in the comments. Thank you all very much. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.